fast this morning you had yeah. you must have had a great run all the way from white mountain or how'd it go for you yeah i was a little worried about the wind after all the stories i heard and but it was pretty calm and uh, a little icy some spots but but it was fast fast trail mm -hmm. now this young team of yours that you're kind of um building up they've done really well coming in 13th place in the Iditarod is pretty remarkable in this field. Um, talk about how proud you are of them and kind of your hopes for this team. Yeah, it's a fun group. They're, they're fast and athletic. Uh, they're only going to get better. So uh, it was really fun this year driving them kind of at a little bit of a laid back pace, but um, to watch them come on strong the last three, 400 miles and, and post some really fast times was it's a, fun, it's a fun way to run the race, <laughs> that's for sure. Now, we have to say, or we've noticed that you've been running with Richie Deal, who is a friend of yours, and you've been training with him in Nanana. Um, talk about that. Did that just happen throughout the race, or, or how'd that come together? Yeah, that wasn't really planned, although our schedules were similar to Nikolai, um, and then after that, kind of just kind of just winging it, but we were so close together there, and our teams were moving almost identical speeds and it just worked out. It worked out two years ago that I ran almost the whole race with uh, Jake Berkowitz um, and that wasn't planned either but sometimes you just find somebody that's fun to travel with and if your teams are matched well then if there was any ever a point where his was faster than mine or mine was faster than his we probably would have uh, separated but they were pretty even so mm -hmm. you know. Now this is one of the toughest Iditarods maybe in history um, with the conditions and the trail and no snow and wind and I mean there was just a lot thrown at you guys and um, you seem to handle it really well. You are one of the few mushers in Nikolai with an intact sled and your body parts were all moving. Um, how did you handle all of that? Uh, I, I don't know even how to explain <laughs> what we went through. I, I guess uh, I, mostly pure luck. I, I think if we had to do it again I there's no way I could get out of there unscathed. So, uh, yeah, pretty lucky to make it through that um, in one piece. Mm -hmm. And things must have been pretty nice once you got on the river and, and hit the coast and kind of hit normal conditions for sure. Yeah, Nikolai to um, Caltag was nice, and then it did get rough again from Uniclead on, uh, some spots better than others, but mm -hmm. it was pretty rough too. I think a lot of the the coast got overshadowed by all the concern for the Alaska range and stuff and some of us knew it was going to be pretty rough he up here and it was there was there was some rough stuff with the wind thrown in and um, so yeah definitely a tough year. Alright well congratulations. The fact that your friends and family are here to see you again the fact that you're here does that make us more special? Oh yeah for sure yeah a lot of a lot of support wouldn't be here without everybody who's who's here helping me so uh, it's a it's a group effort for sure. So. You ready to check uh, everything as soon as you get the ice off your? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, that would be nice to start with. Okay. Um, what do you want? Booties? Yep, booties. 
Sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. Uh huh. Cooker. Cooker. I saw that. Yeah. Snowshoes. Back there. Okay. Under, under the coat. Axe. Okay. Uh, trail mail. Anything we missed? That's it. Okay. Ready. And just need a signature. You need a signature. And you made it here in nine days, 15 hours, 25, 28, 28 minutes, and 30 seconds. Congratulations and welcome All right. Thank you. When you do your vet check, what do you do? Pardon me? When you're doing your vet check, what are you looking at? Oh, we're doing two separate things right now. What I'm listening to is I'm listening to the heart, I'm listening to the lungs, and making sure that we don't have any kind of arrhythmias, pneumonias, and then they're doing the rest of the exam. They're looking for uh, gait abnormalities, pain, uh, many different parameters. How many dogs do you figure you look at during the race? That is hard to tell. It depends on what position that we're uh, filling at the time. You may look at, oh God, I, honestly, I can tell you. Lots. 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 Because we see them over and over again at different places. Sure. Hey, young man. Who came back? Who's over there? Daddy here. Is that Daddy? Ha 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 ha.